timestamp in the description box if you want to skip ahead to how to cross save your progression. If you're on PlayStation, simply look for the game by starting to type in Witcher. Right here, you'll see the game. Click on it. Go to the three dots. Go to view product. From here, go back to the three dots again and select The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Now, as you can see, underneath The Witcher Wild Hunt, it says free PS5 digital upgrade. Now we can download that. Confirm the purchase. It's free. It always does that on PS5. Now that's officially added to our library. And now you can see that we can go ahead and select from the down arrow to download the PS5 version or highlight at the top right where it says download PS5 version. In closing for this part, if you had the game on disc, naturally, you're going to have to have it inserted inside of your console of choice. There's no freebies, so if you don't have the disc anymore, well, thankfully, the game is on sale 40% off, whether you're on Xbox or PlayStation. Speaking of Xbox, I briefly checked the store on my Xbox. There's no upgrade option, as everything's the smart delivery. So chances are it's just going to download a second version of the game as you are going to need to download the old version if you want to do your cross save you're going to have to download and update the old version of the witcher 3 and bring it up to version 4.00 from here you're going to select load game where your saves would be anyways select the one that you want you can only do one at a time and as you can see at the bottom right, it says cross progression. So hit the according button prompt on PlayStation. It's an L2. And then from here, you're going to see it says connect your profile. You can either scan the QR code with your smartphone or you can simply type in the URL address that you get, which is uh, thewitcher.com front slash r front slash and then a unique code. Naturally, mine is blurred out for obvious reasons. The moment that you go ahead and you claim your reward when you scan the QR code or input the code and you log into your GOG account, this showed up automatically in my game for the old version to claim the Thousand Flowers armor and sword set from Dole Blathanana Banana. Visit Yennefer's quarters at the Royal Palace in Visima. And then to claim your Roach Gwent card, load your latest game save and open up your inventory. Now you're going to go to load game again. And you're going to be able to click cross progression button again at the bottom right, L2. You'll see that it says here cross platform saves are enabled. Your last autosave checkpoint and manual save will be synced with the cloud and made available on other devices. Go ahead and accept that. The thing that you got to keep in mind here is if we look at the top right, what version are my saves? 1.60. Well, we actually have to go into the game. That way we can convert it by resaving the game with the newest version. Saves created with this version of the game will be incompatible with previous game versions. It's too bad that they also don't fucking tell you that it's incompatible with cross-saving. So from here, we're going to create a new uh, manual save. Or actually, we can just overwrite it, to be honest. All right, now when we go to look at it, you can see here 4.00, and there's a little cloud next to it, meaning that it is worthy of being able to be carried over to the next version, as these other ones are still on 1.60. Now I'm going to head over to the PS5 version of the game. Now go ahead and close the old version. When you download the PS5 version of the game, make sure that you go down and you download these 
add-on DLCs. They are separate downloads. Initially, I clicked on the first one here and it didn't work. So I had to click on this one first, the Hearts of Stone. Then after that, I was able to go to this one. And as you can see, it is downloading. Otherwise, when you load your save, it's not going to work and boot up the next gen version. When you're going to be at the main screen, naturally, you're going to be thinking, oh no, what do I do? Go to my rewards. And now we're back with the same thing where you're going to go ahead and either scan the QR code or input the URL that you see. Once again, on the next gen version, once you've scanned your QR code or inputted the URL and you've clicked on claim your rewards, you will once again get the thing where it says to claim your loot. Visit Yennefer's quarters at the Royal Palace in Visima. So we're going to go ahead and accept that as it says that we've now signed in to our GOG account. And finally, we are now able to see this pop up on the screen. Continue and load game. And there it is. So I'm going to click continue. <clears throat> you are missing the following add-ons required to open the save. That's actually what happens if you didn't follow the step that I showed you earlier, where you could see at the bottom, I have now installed those expansions. Now we're able to click on continue. Yennefer's and we're finally inside of the goddamn game on the PS5 with our PS4 save. And I've gone ahead and done a uh, manual save on the actual console itself. It is such a beautiful thing. In closing, I want to share with you something about the cross saves to break it down for you. Regardless of what platform you're on, Xbox Series X, S save files can be transferred to PS5, Nintendo Switch, vice versa, for example. Similarly, PS5, Switch, Xbox Series X, S save files can be transferred to PC, and PC save files can be transferred between different PCs and PC accounts like Steam to GOG. However, you will not be able to transfer save files coming from the PC going over to console. And that probably has to do with a lot of people such as myself mucking around with trainers and hacks and shit like that. Anyhow, that's it for me. You don't even want to know how hard it was for me to make this fucking video. I've uploaded over 4,000 videos on my YouTube channel over the four years that I've been on here. It's probably the most convoluted clusterfuck fucking thing I've ever done. So if you liked it, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm and trying to make me a little bit more relevant in search results and people are looking shit up. You didn't like the video. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down. And uh, you know what? We'll just go ahead and bend it in half. We'll twist it and we'll lop it off like that. Right off your hand. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.